Do you write better standing up or sitting down? If the pen is mightier than the sword, are you, personally, more lethal on your toes or on your tushy? And it's time for another unbuckled, bumpy ride with your guide, the stark raving lunatic himself. I'm Jim. Let's jump right in again. Welcome to my podcast based on my brand new book, available on Amazon, Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N. It's a year-long guide to gratitude and our daily grind. The book that combines some timeless wisdom from a whole lot of the world's wiser people with the reflections, reactions, and wisecracks of the guide's author, me. And it guides you, the reader, through the simplest system for a happy, healthy, authentic, and genuinely grateful everyday experience. I urge you to get the book. Of course I do. I wrote it. It's either at Amazon or at my website, ampurage.com. A-M-M-P-U-R-A-G-E. But even without it, let's make next week better than last, our next year better than the past, and get started now with today's episode of... Okay, do you write better standing up or sitting down? That's a serious question. Serious question here that possibly many have never asked. What I mean is that, like many things in our lives, have you, have we stopped and taken the time to ask, assess, address how and when are we at our best at specific tasks? For example, okay, writing. Are you better on your toes or on your tushy tukus? Meaning, our body position affects our alignment. Our alignment affects our breathing. Our breathing affects our state. Our state affects our ability in the moment, in any given moment. And it's our in the moment ability in any given moment that affects our feelings, our thoughts, our expressions, and as such, our ability to write. It's such a simple, quick conversation with ourselves, but have we had it yet? Have we asked that question? And have we listened for the answer? Or have we just done the same thing, the same way, the same place, the same pattern, and not asked, if the one subtle change was worth the exchange. To switch it up and seek where, how we best perform. Are you a better writer on your feet or on your fanny? Now, how's about conversations with other folks? You know, the tough talks that we need to take time for. Is there a better place, position, better posture alignment that physically helps you mentally and emotionally so that you're at a better place ultimately? Maybe a better outcome that way. And sex. Yeah, here we go. Sex. Is there a better place? I won't ask if there's a better position. Oh, hell, why not? Is there a better position? A better posture? Better placement? Um, Okay, now we may be venturing a little far. But seriously, why accept and assume that what we have now can't become more of what we want simply by asking, is this the right physical personal alignment for me in this activity, whatever that feather-plucking, flocking activity is. I made it through that one. Okay, can my head be in the right place? Can my head and heart be in a better place for this, for a better outcome? By just a mere realignment of my spine, from horizontal to vertical, or maybe incline. Do I have the spine to ask myself this question and to listen for the authentic answer? And then to stand up or sit down for what works best for me being my best at this, at these activities. Before you write this off and go on with the same old ways that you've been writing the daily script of your life, same place, same thing, just like the old commercial, ask yourself and analyze for yourself, am I vertically or horizontally inclined? Am I a stander or a sitter? And if I don't know for sure, because I haven't stopped, sat down, and asked myself this, or asked the others around me who know me best. If I haven't stopped to ask, am I my best, on my bunions or on my butt? Maybe when it comes to peaking my personal performance at certain tasks? Maybe. Maybe I just don't know squat. Hey, squat. Now there's another position to try. And now, 
More words of wisdom to wow your socks off from the Live Life Lean Guide itself. Entry number 19. The work of today is the history of tomorrow, and we are its makers. Juliet Gordon Lowe. And the guide's point of view on this? Focus more on making the history they'll write about tomorrow than worrying to rewrite the history of yesterday. Yesterday is dead and gone. May it rest in peace. So what do you think about this? Using the Live Life Lean system, what have you learned lately that's new? What have you earned that was not just given to you? Where have you added to the world that wasn't just all about you? Now reflect, respect, be grateful for it, and navigate somewhere next. Thank you for listening. I hope you're enjoying your copy of the Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N guide. Enjoying it almost as much as I did creating it. And if you don't have a copy yet, go on over to Ampurage.com or Amazon and get started today experiencing the amazing power of knowing every day is literally yours to be grateful about. And you need never feel unfulfilled again. I'm Jim Hall. And until next time, good health, God bless. And now, go get a little dirty learning something new. Earning what's not given to you. Adding to this crazy world that we share and navigating your way to something new and next.